Hey everyone, it's Arcanus Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over a very basic beginner guide for melee starts for Season 5 of Project Ascension. Um, now, I know we're pretty deep into Season 5, but we've been getting a lot of new players, and I've been getting asked this question a lot. Hey, um, I want to go melee, what should I start? Or hey, I'm new, I want to start caster, what should I pick? And um, we'll go ahead and make that caster video next, but I'm more comfortable with melee, so I figured I'd start with this video. So if you know a good caster starts, go ahead and send me a message on Discord or um, let me know in the comments below so I can you know, make that video as well. But I'll let you guys know right now, I'm not the biggest brain on the server. I'm sure there's a lot of things I may be missing here. So again, if I do miss anything with the melee starts as well, go ahead and let me know in the comments below and maybe I can make a part two. But uh, again, this is going to be a very basic guide. This is not going to you know factor in any skill cards you may have. This is just going to help those new players get their feet on the ground and have you know the building blocks for a hopefully successful build that they can roll. Um, later on before we do get into the builds I just want to let you know that um, I'm gonna have mostly PvP on my mind than PvE So I'm not sure if there's a big difference between a PvE starter or a PvP starter But um, there are some key abilities that you must have for melee if you want to PvP and That is charge and sprint now These are two gap closers that you can pretty much guarantee your character at level one or you can get one or the other and uh, pick something else but for this build this is probably the safest pvp start that i was told and it's charge sprint sinister strike and evasion so if you didn't know you're probably going to learn how annoying and easy it is to be kited in this game by casters and hunters and things like that so having charge and sprint is really key to stick on the character and do that damage that you need to and um, sometimes charge and sprint may not be enough but I, you'd rather have one than none at all. You know what I'm saying? So you're not just running at the guy and he's just going to destroy you. Um, so charge sprint. And then we have sinister strike, which in my opinion is probably the best um, offensive ability you can choose at level one. It's a very quick attack. It does a lot of damage. It kills things very fast for being low level. And um, you open your character up to combo spenders like um, kidney shot, eviscerate slice and dice and all those other things so really good ability to have um and getting kidney shot is pretty pretty big because it's a it's a stun as well so it opens you up to that and it's a very quick ability that you can just level up really fast with and then the last ability that we have is evasion so this is probably in my opinion the best defensive to start with as well especially if you're dealing with melee and i believe it works on hunters auto shots and things like that um it pretty much gives you 50 percent um yeah, so it says increases your dodge chance by 50% and reduces the chance range attacks hit you by 50%. So 50% is a big number and it's for 8 seconds. So not only are we helping with gap closers to stick on the range characters, but if you're fighting someone in melee, evasion is going to make you a little bit more tankier. So hopefully you can get the kill and survive. But, um, but yeah, this is pretty much the very basic and very safe starter build if you wanted to go with melee it's helping you out in all aspects gap closers for range defensive for melee and then a very fast and very strong spammable offensive ability that opens you up into more abilities as well so yeah this is the first build let's move on to the second one oh yeah i forgot to mention with sprint and evasion uh, if you get really lucky, there's an ability called Preparation that pretty much resets the cooldown of Sprint and Evasion. So you can basically use Evasion once the end, uh, 8 seconds are up, excuse me, you can go ahead and use it again. So you have 60 or 16 seconds of pretty much 50% dodge for melee and range. And that's huge. I can't tell you how annoying it is facing someone who can pretty much dodge 50% of your abilities for 16 seconds. So it's really strong to have both of these. So I recommend these as well for a starter build. So the next starter build we have is the Paladin start. Now I say Paladin because you do have a seal and a judgment, but your build can literally take you anywhere because it's all random. And I'm not going to go into specific details of what abilities you kind of want to roll in the future. Again, this guide or this video is for new players who probably want to start a specific way um, for melee. But if you guys want to see an in depth video of like Paladin and what abilities you should get, I can make a video on that as well. But again, this is strictly just for starters um so hopefully they have the building blocks to get uh the 
specific build they want or just a melee build in general so yeah i'm mostly knowledgeable about paladin so i'll probably make that one first but moving on um with the paladin start uh, of course you're going to see the theme with melee you want a gap closer and we only have one gap closer for this build and that is charge but charge is still really good to have as least as long as you have one of them and we are starting with a seal um seal of righteousness is a really good seal to have uh, especially in the future if you do get lucky and get that paladin build i can tell you right now that um my main is a paladin and seal of righteousness is doing 20 percent of my damage so really important and big pickup to guarantee your character and um we do have judgment of wisdom here as well you can either pick judgment of judgment of wisdom or judgment of light um one gives mana one gives hp it really doesn't matter unfortunately these aren't the best judgments the best judgment in the game right now is judgment of justice which can pretty much um make that enemy like to normal speed i've never actually had it myself so what i think is or what i've been told like if they use sprint and they use judgment of justice on them they sprint is canceled they're just running at normal movement speed um so that's really good to have as well and then of course sinister strike again one of the best offensive abilities to start with so that you can spam and kill enemies really fast if not you can go sprint with this um but you're pretty much just going to be auto attacking and doing judgments with which can be really slow so that's why i added sinister strike into this one for the paladin start and then again it can open you up to other um rogue spenders if you wanted like again kidney shot rupture and things like that so you can get a good hybrid going or if you didn't need those you can just roll sinister strike off later when you get better abilities but uh, again this is the safe paladin start with charge seal of righteousness judgment and sinister strike so the next melee build that we have is the melee hunter build now this is a very fun start uh, but it's very weird at first because on the first three sets or the first set of tier cards you cannot choose mongoose bite raptor strike or charge um you're gonna have to pick a different ability but i feel like battle stance is the best ability to pick at the first set of cards because it just gives you that extra armor penetration when you're dealing damage in melee and then the next abilities of course we have is charge you can go sprint as well for this but uh in my opinion the better gap closer is charge don't at me but um but yeah go charge or sprint if you wanted and then mongoose bite and raptor strike these are going to be your pretty much your two main sources of damage especially when you get to level 60 so it's really good to uh, go ahead and guarantee these at level one so i feel like this is one of the builds that you can pretty much get luckier with easier um, you're probably going to be looking for traps as well i'm not going to go into it but um, you can also get um uh, ranged abilities like ranged marksman hunter abilities because these do scale off ranged attack power so if you stack into agility not only are you going to be making these abilities really strong but if you do get ranged abilities you're going to make those strong as well so it's a pretty fun start to have you can hopefully get lucky and get a mix into ranged and melee but um, for this one this is going to be melee hunter start so hopefully you guys like this one as well um, i'm trying to level a good one still haven't gotten a good one yet but hopefully i get lucky soon soon so that's the third uh, beginner melee build that we have on the list let's move on to the next one so the last build that we're going to be going over part one for our melee start beginner's guide is going to be the rogue and you can't be a rogue without stealth at least in my opinion so the abilities we're picking up for this one are going to be stealth backstab gouge and then sprint now the reason why i'm choosing sprint over charge of course is you cannot use charge while you're stealth it's going to break the stealth but you can use sprint so in this case sprint is going to be better and then for our main damage of being damaging ability excuse me we're going to have backstab backstab hits like a truck and it's going to pretty much be your main source of damage all the way to at 60 so it's good to pick up right off the bat and then the last ability we have is gouge um in my opinion is going to be better than evasion uh, you can go evasion if you wanted the defensive um but gouge is just going to be an early cc that you get and it'll help you level and it'll help you get those backstabs off so in this case if you're fighting a mob you can't backstab from the front of course so with backstab you're gonna have to do this weird shimmy thing and it's gonna be able to essentially let you front stab as long as you're shimmying right so that's one of the difficult things that may make uh, or one of the things that may make backstabbing at least for beginners difficult so if you really wanted to you can switch this off for sinister strike but um that is up to you 
But again, backstab hits like a truck. And then having gouge can essentially make you not only stop a cast, but get behind your opponent for another backstab. So I feel like this is the best rogue starter um, because again, stealth is going to open you up to abilities like ambush, vanish, uh, garrote, cheap shot, and things like that. And then having backstab, which hits like a truck, and then gouge for the CC and sprint for the mobility. That was part one for beginner guide for melee builds. Hopefully you guys like those builds. Um, I am making this into multiple parts because I just wanted to get this out to see how you guys react to it And maybe if there's anything I can make better about the video I know I didn't go into specific detail of what you can or what you should expect to roll uh, Maybe I can do separate videos of like uh, for example the paladin like for the paladin you start this and this is what you want to hopefully roll in the future and maybe what to put your talent points into and things like that so if you guys want to see that i can definitely make separate videos of that but um for this first part again i just wanted to see how you guys react to it um and let me know uh what i missed and um if there's anything else i can make or i can do to make the videos better or if you enjoy this style let me know in the comments below. But again, I just wanted to see how you guys react to it. Hopefully it helped those new players. Hopefully, I mean, it helped maybe people who weren't really um, knowledgeable about Melee. But uh, again, those were just very basic beginner guides for Melee starts. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next video.